Ketogenic diet is probably one of the most popular diets today, mainly due to its proven benefit in being effective for weight loss. There are many forums where information and advice are available on how to start a keto diet, keto meal plans, and all the quick weight loss benefits you can hope to see. However, an important aspect to note is this diet is not recommended to be followed on a long-term basis, as long-term health implications are not known. So, anyone following this diet would need to transition off at some point of time. And hence comes the question, so how to transition off keto without gaining weight? And this is precisely the question we'll attempt to address in this video. If this is a topic of interest to you, do stick till the very end. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell button. This will ensure that you get notified every time we release a video. Disclaimer: The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for informational purposes. Always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. A quick recap of what is the basic principle of keto. So what is the keto diet and what is ketosis? The ketogenic diet was originally developed for epilepsy patients, where a high-fat diet was found to be effective in reducing the incidence of seizures. The composition of the daily food intake is changed to get maximum calories from fat, followed by moderate amounts of protein and a very small amount of carbohydrates. And this is the reverse of the normal diet where majority of the calories are obtained from carbohydrates followed by protein and the smallest amount from fats. A normal diet would be composed of 50 to 60% of carbohydrates, 30 to 40% of fat and 10 to 20% proteins. However, in a keto diet it would be the other way around with 5 to 10% carbohydrates, 70 to 80% fat and 10 to 20% protein. The main principle of the ketogenic diet is to reach a state of ketosis. Ketosis is a metabolic state where the body burns fat for energy rather than glucose or carbohydrates. Glucose and carbohydrates are usually the primary sources of energy for the body and only once these are used up does the body start burning fat. Through the process of ketosis, the body is forced to burn fat for energy and this fat does not get stored, resulting in fast weight loss compared to other diets. Let's understand some of the potential health impacts of a keto diet. Though the weight loss benefits of keto are all well known, but it also has some potential downsides which can be expected from any restricted diet. The keto diet being very low on carbs can cause blood sugar levels to drop very low, especially for people suffering from hypoglycemia. As this diet has a high fat content, it tends to be taxing on the liver as it is tougher on the liver to process fats, hence not recommended for people suffering from liver problems. The impact on cholesterol could be either good or bad depending on what kind of fats are consumed. If heart friendly omega 3 fats are consumed, this could result in a reduction in bad cholesterol. But the converse is also possible, if the wrong kind of unhealthy fats are consumed which could cause an increase of bad cholesterol. Completely avoiding a particular food group over a long term could cause dietary deficiencies such as calcium, magnesium and other vitamins. Keto flu is a condition that's present itself with the flu-like symptoms such as headache, nausea, constipation, tiredness as the body adjusts to a new diet pattern. This is because carbs have a higher dietary fiber content compared to fats. And lack of fiber impacts gut health and digestion. So here are the reasons for transitioning off the keto diet. Number 1. Not practical to follow long term. Though keto can give great results in the short term, it would be very hard to follow on a long term basis. The main reasons would be that it requires careful grocery and meal planning in advance. And this makes it harder to stick to especially if you travel frequently or eat out regularly. And probably not the most practical in these situations. Number 2. You may have achieved your weight loss goal. The reason for moving off keto could be as simple as having achieved your weight loss goal and now trying to simply maintain your goal weight while trying to get back to on a regular diet. Or you may have hit a weight loss plateau and no longer losing weight despite being on the diet. Number 3. You may be experiencing digestive discomfort. 
Dietary fiber is prebiotic food that feeds the good bacteria in the gut. A healthy balance between the good and bad bacteria is required for good digestion and proper elimination of toxins from the body. In keto, as the amount of carbohydrates is only 10%, the lack of fiber could cause digestive distress, particularly constipation, bloating and gastric issues. And if these issues continue to persist or worsen, it may be time to consider coming off the keto diet. Number 4. You are having health problems. The keto diet being a relatively recent phenomena, there is a lack of long-term research data to know conclusively if it is healthy to follow over a long period of time. If there is a worsening of cholesterol or blood sugar levels, liver problems or a change in the menstrual cycle for women, it may be necessary to get back to a normal diet. This diet is usually found to benefit people suffering from diabetes or women suffering from PCOS. But if your body is not adjusting well to it, best to consider transitioning back to a normal diet. Number 5. You are no longer enjoying the food you eat. A big believer in the mind-body connection, if you no longer enjoy or look forward to your meals, it is less likely to give you results. If the restrictive nature of the keto diet leaves you craving for more variety, you may need to consider moving back to a regular diet. So what do you expect when you get off keto? Weight gain. Weight gain is a definite possibility, especially if you transition too quickly and suddenly introduce a large amount of carbs. Some weight gain about 2-3 to three pounds of water weight is considered normal, but watch out for weight gain over this level. And how much of weight you gain also depends on how quickly your body adjusts to the carbs, how much you are exercising or your metabolism in general. Digestive Distress the same way that cutting carbs also cuts off prebiotic dietary fiber from your gut, reintroducing them too quickly could have the same result. The body may have a hard time getting used to digesting these leading to constipation, bloating and digestive issues if you suddenly move off keto. Sudden Sugar Spikes and Food Cravings Some people can experience sudden increase in sugar levels when carbs are reintroduced in the diet. The sudden sugar spikes are usually followed by drops in blood sugar levels, causing mood swings, depression or anxiety. And this could be also followed by sudden sugar cravings which may lead to overeating and weight gain. Increase in hunger As fats that are slower to digest and when replaced by carbs that are faster to digest, this could cause increased hunger pangs for some people. So it may be required to balance out the transition rather than reintroducing carbs in one go. High energy levels. As the body uses carbohydrates as a primary source of energy, reintroduction of carbs may result in high energy levels and better performance in your workouts. And it may be a good time to move to a more intensive exercise routine to offset some of the weight gain that is normally seen when you go off keto. So, how to get off keto without gaining weight? After having spent considerable time and effort in trying to get on and stay on a keto diet, the last thing that you would want is to see some of the weight or health problems coming back that you have worked so hard to lose. So it's important to take a step by step approach rather than deciding to go off keto and suddenly moving back to a regular diet overnight. And in this case the results could be potentially disastrous. So do take note of the suggestions and try to incorporate them. First, create a plan. So instead of moving from keto to a regular diet overnight and giving your metabolism and digestive system a shock, a better strategy is to plan out the transition over a 2-3 to three months period. This will allow the body to slowly adjust back to its old ways and avoid sudden weight gain and other issues. Consult a dietitian to work out a transition plan. Write it down along with the portion sizes to be followed while reintroducing carbs. Step 1. Reintroduce vegetables. Instead of introducing complex carbs, first start with increasing the quantities and types of vegetables. Start introducing the vegetables that you were avoiding while on keto over a 3-4 week period. By the end of the 4th week, target lowering fat to 60%, increasing carbs to 15% and proteins to 25% while maintaining the overall calorie limits. Step 2. Reintroduce complex carbs. As a second step, start introducing complex carbs, limited to one serving per day. Complex carbs have a low glycemic index and are slower to digest. This will help to avoid sudden blood sugar spikes and allow your digestion to get accustomed to these. Some examples of complex carbs are oats, sweet potatoes, quinoa, brown rice and legumes. 
by week 7 to 8, target reducing fats to 45% of your diet with 30% protein and 25% carbs. No fruits or sugar to be introduced at this stage. Step 3. To reintroduce simple carbs. As a third step, start introducing simple carbs, but in a separate meal and not at the same time as step 2. Simple carbs are easy to digest and have a high glycemic index. And it is best to consume this before or after a workout ideally to avoid sugar spikes. A few additional tips. Introduce carbs in place of fats and not in addition to the fats, as this will surely cause weight gain. As the proportion of carbs in the diet increases, it must be offset by a reduction in fats. Maintaining portion control is important, as it is normal to feel like binge eating on junk food like burgers and pizzas that were being avoided on the keto. Have one slice if you must, and try to offer healthier whole meal options instead of processed ones. Supplement with exercise to offset the negative impacts of weight gain while coming off keto. The higher energy levels from carbs should make this easier. And there is no one-size-fits-all approach. And you may need to go slower or faster than the above recommended timelines based on how your body adapts to the change. Monitor your blood sugar levels, particularly if you're diabetic. And in case of any discomfort or feeling of being unwell, do consult your doctor or dietitian immediately. Last but not the least, look at this process as a change in your lifestyle towards more healthy eating and not as a short-term diet followed by going right back to all the habits that made you feel the need for a diet in the first place. Even if you're off keto, do make it a point to cut down on sugar and processed foods, exercise regularly and manage your stress levels for long-term health. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.